G'day guys, welcome to Rommel's Fish Room. So today, I want to do a bit of an update on the goldfish tank. I'm not sure what I'm going to title this video yet. I either want to make a bit of a troll title, or I'll just call it Goldfish Tank Update. Um, but I'll tell you my story about wanting to make the troll title, even if I don't make the troll title. So let's have a look at the tank. Alright, so I was going to make this video at night because obviously you wouldn't get the reflections on the tank but we're very lucky that the glass is super duper clean um, and the water is absolutely crystal clean. If it wasn't for the bubbles and the micro bubbles, um, it, it, it's, it's so clean. Like, I'm super proud with how clean it is. Um, like I said to you guys last week, sometimes cleaning the filters is a bit disheartening because it makes the tank look dirty at the time, but just a couple of days later, um, it makes a huge difference. Um, so first thing I want to address is um, the, the fish are doing heaps better since I made that loop that I used for my live stream. Um, this guy, he's still got a bit of a swim bladder issue, but it's improving with time, so I'm super stoked about that because he's like one of the biggest fish in there and it'd be a shame if I lost the big ones. Um, so just if you guys don't know on the filtration there's just like a eBay spec 1800 litre an hour canister filter. Um, sorry I've got my hand in front of it there. And then my light's flat. And then next to that is a Nautilus 2700. Um, I am thinking about swapping this tank to a DIY sump um, not, and I'm thinking about not even using a, an actual glass tank. I'm going to make a sump out of a storage container because I know that a lot of people that don't have a huge budget might be interested in how to do a sump cheap and you guys know this is the budget channel if anything. Um, so I was going to take the aqua soil out because I thought the aqua soil was actually um, creating the tank to be dirty but it turns out the filters just needed a clean and now the water is crystal clear even with the soil in there which I'm actually surprised about that because the goldfish stir up the soil and um, this flu valve soil really holds together way better than like the ADA aqua soil. Um, but let's get to the troll, troll part. So. For anybody who doesn't know, I used to keep a fish room that had a, about 15 colonies of Trophius, um, all the way from Canary Cheeks down to Du Bois um, and a lot of others, which I can't think. Green Malora, uh, no, um, Green Malagarassi. Um, yeah, anyway, I had a lot of Trophius. Trophius is a Tanganyikan cichlid, if you don't know, but... I have found so many similarities in the goldfish that I had in my Trophius. And also for anybody who doesn't know, I've never kept goldfish before in all my years of experience. Um, the most I ever had is when I first um, had a fish tank, I put three comets in it to cycle the tank. Um, and they were only in it for a, f a few weeks. And um, so this is my first experience as a tank set up with lots of them and uh they're so they are a lot like trophies for stars what i say is um when i come up to the tank like you'll see they're all hanging they're all coming up to the front wanting food um anybody who's had trophies that's one of the main traits you'll notice about them is they are straight to the front of the tank as soon as they see you um the goldfish do the same thing as that uh and then so, so the next point is um, they're not obviously they're not as aggressive but I will say um, one thing which so this um, panda more and the ranchu constantly chasing the girls around um, they're not going to do it right now because I'm filming them and they're gonna not going to show you what they do but Basically, if they didn't have silly little tails, um, I think they would be 
and they had like the sportsmanship of a trophius, they would probably hurt the girls. Um, and also, oh, the lights decided to turn on now. I'll turn that off. Um, we've got one gold, one goldfish which lost an eye. So there is some, there is some form of aggression in there. Um, so I was going to say that they're like trophies but peaceful. But in the last week, they haven't been peaceful. So I, I'm, I'm not going to go with that theory. Um, obviously, a lot easier to keep than Trophius as far as water conditions. Um, so, so I had like um, swim bladder and bloating issues with a couple of them. 100% um, issue that people have with Trophius. Uh, I think that's about all my points that that are similar to Trophius. The main one for me is like, uh, they've gone back now, but because I'm filming, but like if I come to the front of the tank, they're right there. And that that was the first sign that I thought they were similar to trophies. Look at these guys down here having a bit of a sc scramble. They're definitely way more aggressive than I ever expected. But they're, they're that bad at swimming that their aggression doesn't get passed on because they don't catch the fish that they're chasing. <laughs> uh, it's pretty funny. It's, it is actually hilarious. So I think I'm going to title the video why the why i think goldfish are similar to trophies i think i'm going to go with that title what do you guys reckon so for anybody who doesn't know this is a 500 liter four by two by two and a half foot tank um two canister filters are hard plumbed it's got a um weir in it there's actually four holes drilled in that weir so that's why i'm thinking about sumping it because there's all the provisions to do it um what else what else what else it's got it's got a planted aquarium light um that's actually a um like an ebay spec hydroponic light and it's just been modified i took some of the reds out of it to make it for a planted tank because this actually used to be a planted tank with discus and um i actually want to swap that because there's two holes in the roof. I want to put two pendant LEDs up there. Not even fish tank LEDs. Just like, you know, your normal kitchen pendant lights. Um, but I, I've got to get hold of a couple of them. Um, the tank's sitting on 24 degrees. Uh, I, I would take the heaters completely out. But I've still got bristle nose and quarries in there. And I do plan on getting some adult quarries. Uh, I don't want to bother trying to grow them out. I, I just want to try to buy some adults. But... That's for the future. And also, as far as the goldfish, as silly as it sounds, I want to get rid of some of the gold and get more colours. So, um, what I mean by that is like, I might get rid of a couple of, like, uh, they're called rikens. Um, that typical gold, I'll, I'll probably keep this guy and I'll keep the ranchu. I hope I'm getting the names right, guys. But I want more, like, See like the white one um, and the pandas, a couple more blacks. I, I want more of a mix. And then see like, um, where is he? See like this champagne yellow, uh, like that gold instead of the typical gold. Um, I know they're goldfish and I'm not going to get away from gold, but it'd be cool if I have a bit more of a mix in there, you know. Um and I've got plenty of oxygen. So that's just got the, it's got an airline plumbed into the 25 mil pipe. And I've actually got quite a, it's actually a very expensive air pump. There's a Shigo WS2, um, best air pump on the market really. I've actually got the Shigo WS3 in the shed, but it's way too big for this tank. Um, I actually need to get a one-way valve for that. It doesn't have a one-way valve on it at the moment, so if the power goes out, it will actually fill that air pump with water, which is not what you want when you when it's a hundred-dollar air pump. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's about it, guys. Uh, I think what's going to be my favourite fish, if I can find it. Oh, and the reason there's puzzles on top of there is purely because the light glares into my camera, so I had to put them up there to do a bit of filming um where's my where's my future favorites 
they're probably in the weir because there's a hole in the weir big enough for them to fit in oh and i also didn't mention guys this tank is on a constant drip so it's getting constant fresh water the nitrates last time i tested it were 5 ppm so um definitely the goldfish are living in hollywood i thought about turning because this actual flow rate was set up for the discus i thought about turning it down for the goldfish but i'd rather they can have the water that clean water's pretty cheap like turning it down is probably only going to save me like five dollars a month i might as well just keep that much water going in there and they can enjoy life they seem happy um you can really see how active they are you know sometimes you go to like someone's house and they've got a goldfish in a bowl and it just doesn't move um i think this is a really good representation of how active goldfish should actually be um obviously i've got no history of goldfish but you can comment whether you agree with that or not but if but like they are so active i'm not lying guys when i tell you goldfish have fast become one of my favorite display fish um they're just so active and i and like you can watch them for hours um <laughs> i never ever thought i would say that and i know people that have known me for years would never expect me to say that like they're goldfish if you asked me if i was if i would buy goldfish six months ago i would have said to you goldfish are for beginners but um they're just enjoyable when i have guests over they are surprised that i have goldfish and it's cool watching people get surprised over something like that and then like um they're surprised when they walk in and then they watch them for a minute or two and they're like oh they're actually pretty cool <laughs> and like i've had like like friends that are that are right into cichlids like as much as me like breeding rooms and that walk in and be surprised about how cool it is watching them so um it is exciting if you've never had fancy goldfish all i'm saying is maybe give it a go like um I, you'll see one thing i didn't mention i've got two breeding mops in there um i'm low-key hoping they breed um i definitely want to grow out some babies if i can for that experience i say i'm hoping they breed there's like a 99 percent percent chance that they should breed in there but anyway guys i'm going to wrap that one up there if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you want to subscribe for more hit the little red button just down there i'll see you guys tomorrow peace out